Hi, I'm Melissa Carroll, and I'm here to let you know that you are worthy, you are enough, and you have a spark of creative energy within you. And I'm here to help you ignite that creative spark. I'm going to be leading a series of workshops, a yoga and creative writing retreat here at the beautiful Lotus Pond on February 3rd and 4th, Saturday and Sunday. And there are a variety of workshops throughout both days. You can come to one or you can come to all. And they're really designed to give us the time and the space to nourish and nurture our creative energy. I believe we're all creative beings. And this is true whether you want to write a novel or you want to get started with a blog or you just want to journal and maybe discover some things about yourself. Uh, writing can be an incredible tool for self-discovery. And we all have these inner narratives that dictate how we see ourselves, how we see others, and how we see the world around us. The problem is these inner narratives are lurking in the background. They're the, the background programs that are really influencing our decisions that we make throughout our lives. They influence how we are in our relationships with others and the relationship we have with ourself. So we'll be going through a variety of mindfulness meditation exercises. We'll be practicing some yoga postures in the mornings and these yoga Yoga classes are for all levels and we'll also be doing a deep dive into some journaling exercises to help you look at your stories to begin to call forth these inner narratives to speak your truth to see what stories are serving you and you know the best thing about a story is that it can be rewritten so we'll be exploring the components of these inner narratives and we'll also be looking at the creative blocks that we all face, no matter what your path is in life, whether it's as a, a yoga seeker or as a writer or anyone who's engaged in creativity, we all experience things like fear and self-doubt and um, fear of exposing ourselves and sharing our gifts with the world. These are really, really common. And we'll be looking systematically at how these different blocks can hijack our creative process and get in the way of us living the life that we were meant to lead. So um, we'll again be doing lots of meditation, journaling exercises, yoga postures for all levels, and also looking at the ways our stories interact with our own bodies and um, how we really write the story of how we see ourselves. So I hope you join me February 3rd and February 4th here at the Lotus Pond. You can check out all of the details on the Lotus Pond's website on their public workshops page. And I hope to see you real soon. Namaste. Chances are at some point in your journey, you've encountered fear and self-doubt and comparison. These are really, really common obstacles and they can hijack our creative process. And this is true no matter what field you're in, no matter what your passion is in life. This is true for people on the yogic path. This is true for writers. This is true for everyone. So we'll be also taking some time on Saturday, February 3rd at 1 p.m. to look at these creative blocks and how they get in the way of our path and what we can do about them and some really specific strategies for giving ourselves the space and the strength to work with these very, very common creative blocks. We're also going to look at our relationship and the stories we have around our bodies at 3.30 on Saturday afternoon. Um, you know, we've all got these stories about our bodies. They're really embedded in our bones. And very often, let's be honest, they're framed in the negative about what we don't like, about what we can't do. And so we'll be taking the essential time this Saturday afternoon to reframe and restory those narratives so that we can begin to heal our relationships with our bodies.